Hello everyone and welcome back to another video here on Middle Earth Gaming and it is another news update video because we have just got another reveal for the Middle Earth Strategy Battle game. So in this video I'm going to go through it and uh, go through the article over on Warhammer Community. I'll have it linked in the description below so you guys can go check it out. Um, and uh, we'll have a chat about it because there's some new rules. Uh, it is Frecker, Lord of the West March. It's basically, uh, you know, Wolf's, uh, Wolf's father. Um, the guy who uh, who helm punches um, in the in the trailer, which is kind of cool, but uh, yeah, so we're gonna talk about him. We're gonna have a look at the model. We're gonna have a look at the rules that uh, you know GW has given to us, and uh, we'll go from there. But if you guys want to enjoy the video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you guys haven't already. Share the video out as well. Join the Discord link in the description. Uh, we'll get all I'm trying to uh, grow that uh, community over there, which is awesome. And if you guys would like to support the channel further, uh, you, there is uh, a uh, you can become a member and get some cool benefits as well. But let's get straight into the video and uh, let's talk about Frecker, Lord of the West March. So here we are, guys. We have the Warhammer Community article. It says Frecker, Lord of the West March, leads the charge in the Middle Earth strategy battle game. So it starts off with uh, saying, "Fell deeds awake. It's time for another reveal for the Middle Earth strategy battle game." I was hoping that we actually were going to get a reveal uh, this week. Um, and uh, a week, a reveal on Wednesday is almost unheard of. Like it's usually Wednesdays are usually uh, reserved for um, like Warhammer TV, that kind of stuff, those kind of reveals. Um, so it's it's kind of interesting that we've got one on a Wednesday. I was hoping that we'd get one on Monday, um, but we didn't. So that was probably why there wasn't a video uh, in early in the week. Um, but we had two streams, which was, which was pretty cool. Um, but yeah, so or we usually get them on Thursdays. So we didn't get one on Monday, so maybe on Thursday, but never on a Wednesday. That's very unheard of. Um, I think it's the only one of the week, maybe once or twice before, but honestly, I don't remember. Um, but as we keep going on, it says, a couple of weeks ago, we revealed Helm Hammerhand, Ray for Hornberg. So it makes sense to this week to unveil one of his bitterest, bitterest rivals, Frecker, Lord of Westmarch. And here he is. And um, I've got to say, I, th I think I like him. I, I don't know if I do. I think I do. Um, but uh, he's get very much giving off um, Robert Baratheon vibes from Game of Thrones, um, especially the TV show. So um, I think that's that's kind of funny. I like the model. Um, let me know what you guys think in the description below. But the, uh, also, we have some rules to go along with this as well. So a hefty and cruel man of Dunlending heritage, Frecker is known across the Rohan, across the Rohan, I should say, uh, for his arrogance and his pride. His overriding ambition is to secure the throne of Rohan for his son, Wolf. So there you go. Uh, in his vein of aspirations, that leads him to into conflict with Helm. Um, so here we go, Frecker, Lord of the Westmarch. Um, a very, very cool model, like I said. Um, I wasn't actually sure if we were going to get him because from what we know and if you guys have seen in the trailers, um, spoiler alert now if you guys haven't seen it, um, Helm one punches Frecker, well Frecker gets a few hits on him on, on Helm, but then Helm smashes him with one punch and kills him, um, so it, that's probably going to happen early on in the movie, so it's interesting that we actually get a moral for him, but it's very very cool um, nonetheless as well, um, he's a big chunky boy too. Um, and I know what you guys are thinking. I know I've seen some some uh, things on the groups about you know the size of these models. If they're going to be like more like Age of Sigma size, and we've been told numerous times, um, you know, from GW, from the sculptors, from you know Rob, who runs a uh, runs the team, that they are going to be they are matched to the exact size of the game as we know it. So obviously there is a little bit of scale creep as there as there is in some models like you know some of the uh, hobbit stuff you know that was a bit bigger um but it's more true scale of what actually should be obviously because if the Ur you know urukai in general um if we got new urukai that would be bigger than the urukai that we have now um so i i think it's that that kind of stuff it's not going to be like age of sigma massive you know um like a space marine he's not going to be like a space marine or you know something like that but um, I definitely, like, he's a big, chunky boy, so he's definitely going to be big um, you know, on the bigger side of things. I'll, I would imagine, you know, maybe not Bayonning size, but maybe a little bit smaller than him. Um, but I, I assume that kind of uh, size. Um, so, yeah, very, very cool model, nonetheless. Uh, despite being a Lord of Rohan, Frecker can still call upon his ancestral people in times of war. His Dunlending heritage rule makes him nearby friendly Dunland warriors far harder, while his clan throne ability makes him even more powerful if he is in the thick of the fighting when the enemy general is slain. So we have the uh, two new rules here. So Dunlending Heritage, through here, though he's a Lord of Rohan, Frecker still has Dunlending Her uh, blood in his veins, and his ancestral people will fight for him should he call upon them. Friendly Dunlin warrior models within six inches of Frecker gain a bonus of plus one to their fire value, which is interesting, considering that we know that all of this stuff's going to change in the new edition, um, like with what, like we know with people getting fire value as they should. Let's hope anyway. Um, Getting another plus one will have that you know better advantage, uh, uh, you know even more even more so than now. Um, obviously, we don't know what the 
you know, profile also the new Don Lendings are, who, who knows. Uh, and claim the throne, uh, so these are both passive abilities, so it's nice to see that passive is still in there. Um, so these are obviously all going on all the time. Should a path to the throne present itself, Freka will attempt to seize it with both hands, and his followers will fight with redoubt, redoubled fury, I should say. If the enemy general is removed as a casualty while within six inches of Freka, there for the, uh, then for the duration of the battle, friendly Dunlin models treat Freka as a banner within a range of six inches. So obviously, you've got to put him with, you know, in the thick of it, in the thick of the fighting, but um, that's a pretty cool ability, if, if, you, if you definitely can get it off. And, I don't know, maybe if, maybe if you're the uh, enemy enemy team, like if you're a rock on player, you want to keep Helm away from him because if he does if he does look like he's going to go down, you're going to give the um your uh, your opponent a mass massive advantage. So it, it's a, it's an interesting rule on both sides. Um, and uh, final bit here says uh, we're getting even closer to the release of the Lord of the Rings: The War of the Rohirrim Battle of Edoras starter set, which we first revealed on Hobbit Day. But this is far from the last reveal we'll have for the Middle Earth Strategy Battle game before the end. Stay tuned to Warhammer Community. For the latest so there we go guys that is the uh article I'll, like i said i'll put a link in the, in the description below for you guys to check it out um but let me know what you guys think in the comment section below are you guys a fan of freka um are you guys a fan of like you know i know there's been a few uh you know reviews on on him so far um some people like him some people hate him i i, I think he's cool i i you know i'll i'll probably pick him up because like he's the uh, it's different than Helm because I think we're definitely going to get another Helm like any of real gold armor. Um, so that's like an alternate pose of Helm. This, I can only say we're going to go, this might be the only model for Freka that we're going to get. So I might have to pick him up, um, especially if there's some scenarios involved with him, um, which I could imagine that there would be. Um, but like I said, I wasn't imagining that this would be the next one being revealed. I thought it'd be going to be like someone like Hera or, you know, something like that. Maybe the Riders of Rohan, but maybe they're saving that for like the big reveal at some point. Um, but we'll have to wait and see. But uh, there we go, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, we don't know if he's going to be plastic or resin. I assume he's going to be a resin uh, model, but GW hasn't come out and said it yet. Um, maybe they have by the time this video has gone live. Uh, they, they usually do. But I imagine he's going to be a four door miniature. Um, that's like what Helm was as well. So who know? Who knows? Um, maybe I don't know because usually four door models come in packs of two. So Helm was a single miniature and Freka was a single miniature. So is there going to be? I don't think they're going to be packaged together because that wouldn't make sense timeline wise at all. Because um, Freka would be long dead while uh, when uh, Helm's at that point. But maybe there's another 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 model we're gonna see for each of them. Who knows? Maybe Hera at Helm's Deep, or man, maybe I don't know a different version of Wolf. Like who, who the hell knows? But um, but there there we go. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. I'm gonna stop waffling because uh, you know guys I will keep going on. But there we go, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to leave a like, comment, share, and subscribe if you haven't already. I'll see you guys in the next video or stream. And as always, happy gaming.